Raglan electric bikes, solar charging, take three. So the point of this project is to be able to charge your electric bike without using any fuel source other than the sun and today's sun and also without having to drag a huge trailer around like this. So we have been through a couple of attempts and thanks to some helpful comments by two guys Werner W or maybe Werner W and NY Angry Guy I've been able to dispense with what I used to use. So temp attempt one I used this boost converter which took the voltage from my panels up to the voltage I needed for my battery. That worked but was dreadful at managing the solar panels. So attempt two, I used my trusty old 24 volt, 12 volt MPPT charge controller to take the solar panels, manage the solar panels and put the power into the car battery. And then from the car battery, use this guy to charge the e-bike battery. That worked really well, except um, it's a bit of a fail on being portable because that's like 20 kilos perhaps. So, the two guys previously mentioned, NY Angry Guy and Werner W. Werner? How do you say your name, man? Um, they suggested I get my pinkies on one of these. So I ordered a couple and they arrived today on my birthday, which was very nice. They um, arrived, two bought from the exact same um, seller in China, two different sets of instructions. Wonderful documentation. So there we go. One set of instructions, the other. Anyhow, I appear to be rambling. The point of it is, as you'll be able to see on plenty of other videos now that I know about this charge controller, the MPT Sub 210A, that you can set up all kinds of good things. It's got the solar, it's got the MPPT for managing the solar panels, which means you get the most power. And it's got a boost converter, which means you can throw out more power or more voltage, higher voltage than is coming in. If you could throw out more power than is coming in, there'd be a nuclear source in there or we'd have just um, broken all the laws of physics. So anyhow, you might be able to see, looks as though my camera and this screen aren't working so good, that the solar panels are bringing about 24 volts at the moment. It's going above and below, but about 24 volts. And the, this little charger is throwing out, oh, well, we just had a cloud go over. It was <laughs> throwing out about two and a half amps or about 100 watts. So, really easy to set up. You just tell it your maximum current, your maximum voltage. You should really tell it a little bit about your solar panels, but I don't have the information on the back of these panels anymore. I've had them for years. Can't remember what they really are. It manages to find it out all right. So, this is the answer. Here we are, we're connected to the battery on my fantastic bullet cargo bike. Um, and it's charging, so pretty good. It would be nice if it wasn't quite such a noisy fan, and it would also need some weather protection because there's no waterproofing whatsoever on there. But it's lightweight, it manages the solar panels, it can do the voltage you need for the battery. Basically, it's functional. It's pretty good, eh? Um, and also, I'll be able to look after the mower's battery because it's got the same spec on it. And you can see all around me here, battery powered mowing. We really don't need petrol anymore, guys. And we don't need coal and we don't need nuclear. Electric cars, solar panels. It's a win. Hey, we can do this. <laughs>